Hey everyone, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. Also speaker, author, and now international bestseller. Thanks to a lot of you who purchased my most recent book, Jumpstart Your New Business Now, uh, last month. Today I wanna to talk to you about some call for speaker, sponsor, and vendor opportunities. Um, very important to pay attention to this whole video if you are a speaker or want to be. If you want to be a guest on anything and get lots more exposure for your business, get more clients, um, I'm going to rattle off a few different opportunities here. I thought this would be the best way to share some of the things that I know about and that I am in control of as far as booking things. So. Um, pay attention because a lot of people don't pay attention and they don't read the small print they don't listen to the minor details uh, the things I'm going to share with you today in this video about speaker opportunities for the rest of this year and or next year are um, I'm gonna share websites you need to write them down so get a pen write them down because you don't want to just respond in the comments to this video. I've done this before and I put out call for speakers not with a video but just with a message and nobody reads the whole thing and then they say I want to speak, I want to speak, I want to speak yet they don't take the next step and do what I tell them to do to get booked to speak so therefore they never get booked to speak. So just an FYI I'm telling you that in the beginning. Alright let me just get started by saying um, not, there's a lot of virtual opportunities as well as in-person opportunities uh, here and around the country. So it's for you no matter where you live, okay? Uh, first of all, I run the Sacramento Speaker and Entrepreneur Network. It's a local meetup here in the greater Sacramento area, Tyronda. And uh, we meet actually in Roseville once a month in person, but we also have a monthly webinar, okay? And so the webinar, I've been featuring people, my friends from all over the world. There's been people from Australia and the UK speaking, as well as the United States. And anybody can apply for the webinar. And uh, only local people or people that are willing to travel to our actual in-person events are going to be chosen for the in-person speaking gigs, however. Okay? But there's three speaking gigs per month with that uh, meetup right now. And, in fact, I... So most of the things I'm booking are for 2019 right now for that group, okay? And you can find us on Meetup. It's meetup.com, and I'll put these links in the, the comments when I'm done. But meetup.com forward slash, uh, that's a great question, Sacramento Speaker Network, I believe. Sacramento Speaker Network. So don't get thrown off by the fact that I'm saying Sacramento. Again, pay attention because the webinar is a possibility. However, there's only 12, so I'm going to pick very relevant topics to speakers and entrepreneurs. So make sure, um, and last time I think I was booked by the end of January when I did this, because I didn't announce it this soon, this ahead, far ahead, okay? So, um, SAC, oh, I'm sorry, I, you can go to Meetup and get more information about the Meetup, but that's not where you want to apply to speak. Where you want to apply to speak is SACSpeaker.com, SACSpeaker.com, S-A-C. That is a page on my website where you would fill out, yes, I want to speak, and then it takes you to another page. There's a two-step process here. Another page when it asks you the title, the description, your bio, and, a, and all that kind of stuff, and you still have to send in your photo. I have a system for this. I don't have time to manage every little question. Everything you need to know is on those pages, okay? And the only people who will get booked are people that will submit everything, just an FYI, all right? I have to be organized or this isn't gonna get done. <laughs> okay, so in addition to speaking with the SAC Speaker Network, I have um, uh, sponsor opportunities. You can sponsor the website, the meetups, and I will highlight you in emails that go out to over 2,600 speakers and, and entrepreneurs. Um, there's the sponsor information. It's like 100 bucks, and you can sponsor for the year and get exposure. Okay, it's very minimal. So if you really do serve speakers and sponsors or speakers and entrepreneurs, it might be something of interest to you. Uh, that you would have to email me for or private message me on Facebook. You can comment below, but 
The only way I'm going to pay attention to you is if you private message me or email me. And my email is on my profile. So you can go look at it. Look for it. Okay. And then uh, December of 2018, instead of our monthly luncheon being just some random monthly luncheon, um, it's probably going to be more in the evening. I'm looking for a venue right now. I just came up with this idea to do more of a speaker off, so to speak. Kind of like a little mini TED Talks kind of thing. It's going to be um, probably eight-minute talks. And I'm going to fit in as many as I can, probably at least 10, 10 eight-minute talks. Plus, we'll have it at a venue where we can have food and drinks and all that kind of thing in December. Um, so 10, I might be looking for 10 eight-minute speakers in December. And it's the first, right now, it's the first Wednesday of the month. So it'll stay at lunch if I have to stay there. It'll be at lunchtime unless I can find a different kind of venue to book it for, say, a holiday thing. Um, we might also do a gift exchange with that. So just an FYI, um, in previous years, the December event has been low attendance. I'm trying to get it up to high attendance and get it more of in a mixer, but like highlighting a bunch of speakers. And you can apply for December if you've spoken at this event or at this chapter before. So um, if in doubt, always apply. And then if you've spoken to recently, I will let you know. But I also am asked by, I can't even tell you how many people ask me for referrals for speakers for different topics. So if I don't know what you speak on and you are relatively local to the greater Northern California area, even I get asked for speakers across the country too and on telesummits and stuff, stuff like that. If I don't know what you speak on, and you want you yourself on my radar, so to speak, you might want to still fill out that speaker application because then I'm going to have you in my, in my little, you know, file, right, of what you speak on. Just be very clear and concise with the information you provide. All right, so that's one thing. The second thing I'm looking for is I just started a website with my friend Eric Lafholm. And a lot of you know Eric, he's a master sales trainer and speaker and author. And we started PlacerCountyPeople.com. Now, this is for local. So this is, there's still more national stuff coming up, so pay attention. But this is local, okay? So you need to work or live in Placer County, California, which is Roseville, Rockland, Lincoln, Loomis, Auburn, that kind of area, okay? So if you work or live, or you know somebody that works or live, or you work for a company, or you belong to a nonprofit, or you're on the board of a nonprofit, or you know of a live event happening in Placer County somewhere, we want to know about it. We're providing this free resource, free community, free website, and free podcast for Placer County residents and business people. We want to highlight those of you who want to be highlighted and who wouldn't want to be highlighted. Hello. So <laughs> uh, it's absolutely free. We're doing this out of the goodness of our hearts. We hold once a month uh, live events in Rockland right now. They might move. You've got to pay attention to the website, which again is placercountypeople.com. And you can find the event calendar. You can find how to submit your information to be a guest on a podcast with us. So Eric's going to be doing audio podcasts, and I'm going to be doing video podcasts. And you can choose who you want to who you want to interview you uh, on those podcasts. And we're going to be scheduling them ourselves, and I have a system for that, of course, too. But uh, make sure you sign up on the website. Then. Let's see. Oh, and uh, very soon, you want to get on the email list for Placer County people if you're interested in this at all, um, which we don't send a lot of emails, trust me, okay? But you want to get on the email list because when we start allowing other people to post their events on our calendar, you're going to want to know about that if you host events. And I don't care if they're virtual or a webinar or live in person, whatever. Um, so. We're going to have an, we have an events calendar already. It's just not systematized to take your events quite yet, but I'm working on that. We hope to really be up and running like clockwork with all kinds of stuff going on and people being highlighted on this website by January. It's going to take a little time. Um, 
but we want to get some podcasts recorded. We're going to put them out on both of our YouTubes as well as the Placer County YouTube. It's going on iTunes and Podbeam and a lot of different places. So um, we also are looking for people who are going to be on the podcast who also will share the podcast and share Placer County people out so it can get a broader um, reach as well. So get on the email list at placercountypeople.com for more information there or sign up now to be a podcast guest. There is a system for that. Hey, Karen, um, you definitely need to sign up for the podcast, Karen. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. What else? Oh, we'll also take sponsors and vendors at some of our events and sponsors and uh, for the website and the community. We also have a Facebook group. So I have a Facebook group for Placer County people. You can look that up. I also happen to have, and I forgot to mention, a Facebook group for Sacramento Speaker and Entrepreneur Network. You can look those up on, on Facebook and join them. It doesn't matter where you live, okay? So you can join those Facebook groups for free. It doesn't matter where you live. Um, and then you can learn a little bit more and or share information. Um, I'm const I'm going to be tapping into a lot of the media sources and the chambers and all that kind of stuff soon. I just have to one thing at a time, right? It'll probably be more towards the holiday. Um, okay, if you want to be a featured business on the blog at Placer County People, probably with before the end of the year, I will have ways where you can submit your information or a blog post or be interviewed um, as well. Um, in a written format for the blog at placercountypeople.com. So that's why you want to get on the email list so you can get notifications of these other things coming about, okay? Um, let's see. Okay, I'm also doing a regional public speakers association regional event here in spring 2019. So it's we're probably not doing a lot of speakers for that event, um, although, if you're a sponsor or a vendor, you might get more exposure and or a little bit of time to speak in front of the group. I anticipate a hundred person or more events for this because there's a lot of public speaker association um, members already in the greater Northern California area who will most likely attend as well as other groups that I belong to and the founder of PSA belongs to that we're going to attract as well. So it's going to be a very good event to sponsor or be a vendor at. Um, so you need to make sure you're on my email list. That's my business email list in order to find out about that because, or just keep an eye on my my Live Big Events page. LiveBigEvents.com is where all my events go. Any event that I host or I do, which is this is going to be one of them for next year, um, you it'll be on that page as well but getting on my email list and watching the emails not just letting them go by is uh, something of importance okay so that's PSA um, and then livebigevents.com in general right now I have two more events for the year and I am probably full for speakers for the November event. I might be interested in one more if you really serve the entrepreneur, um, the small business owner. If you have something to offer, you don't have to be a you know perfect speaker, but if you have a service product or whatever for the small business owner, you definitely want to have a conversation with me at least about potentially speaking or sponsoring or being a vendor at my De November or December event this year or any of my events next year, okay? So I'm planning now for 2019 all my events and I'm planning at least three three-day events plus probably at least four or five one-day events in the Sacramento area, probably more in Roseville and looking for locations now. But I am looking for speakers. I bring in speakers and I'm always looking for stage swaps, mind you. So if you have an event that I would be a good fit for to speak at with marketing, business, website, love yourself successful talks or automation, follow up, sales, anything to that extent, getting clients, um, those are the things I speak on. And so if that might be a good fit for your audience and you might be a good fit for my audience, then we do what's called a stage swap. 
And that's where you would speak for my audience, I would speak for yours, and we would just trade opportunities. Um, I'm open to that. I'm also open to, if, if you don't have events or I'm not a good fit for yours, then I'm open to talking to you about being a speaker sponsor for my events. Um, I usually only bring in about three speakers per three-day event, just to keep in mind. It's not a multi-speaker event. It's like highlighting one additional person a day besides myself because I have a lot of stuff that I cover at my three days. Um, as far as the one-day events, it'll be more of a vendor or sponsor opportunity. Again, my one days, a lot of them are really techie oriented and we're really getting into the nitty gritty of how to do things with their email marketing, people's websites, social media, video. So if you help people, uh, entrepreneurs, do anything like that, like you're a virtual assistant, you're a bigger name like Constant Contact, or um, you help people with websites or um, videography or things like that, then you really want to take a look at being a sponsor or a vendor at my one day events, uh, either December this year or all of next year, because they're really getting popular. Okay, so you would want to be on my email list and or go to my website and contact me now so I can get you on the radar, because I'm having conversations now to plot out speakers for all of next year. So I plan ahead. If you're not willing to plan ahead, I don't know what to do with you. So, <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, Lisa, thanks for joining. Okay, then let's see. I already told you that people ask me to recommend them speakers. I just did the other day. I recommended three people to speak on Facebook etiquette. So somebody was, they were looking for speakers. So sometimes I know some people that are looking to book speakers locally. Sometimes, like I said, it's for a bigger conference or even a virtual summit or something. So I get asked all the time. So you want me to know what you speak on, but please don't just like randomly give me your information. It needs to be organized in a systematized way, like applying on the sacspeaker.com page. That I'm gonna keep all the speaker information in one place, okay? Or the um, placercountypeople.com site, I'll keep all those people who apply for podcasts in that one area. All right, so I have another thing. Um, oh yeah, so beyond, I have one more thing to share, but I'm also looking to book myself to speak at uh, various places uh, in 2019. I'm looking to go into a couple different cities around the US, maybe Canada, would love to go to Hawaii or Mexico. I always like to plan speaking gigs where I wanna go and vacation or travel. Um, I'm looking for a couple on the East Coast, potentially, maybe in Texas, Arizona, Nevada, Vegas, um, or some of those areas, or Southern California. So if you run a group or know anybody that could have me speak, that would be amazing. Um, and then finally, in all the different groups that I run on Facebook, I have, like I said, I have my regular Jumpstart Your Marketing and Business group. I have the Placer County People group and I have the Sacramento Speaker and Entrepreneur Network group. They're all free, you can join them all. Um, just go search them now or I'll put their links in below. But I'm going to be doing more Facebook Live interviews. So another opportunity is to be on a Facebook Live like this with me side by side. It just, you do it from your computer, you can do it from your phone too. Um, and you, we, we would do it on a mutual topic or as long as it's a topic of interest for that particular group. So depending on what your topic is, if you are a wellness coach or something in Roseville, then Placer County people would be ideal for you, right? If you're, now you can do the Jumpstart Your Marketing too, but the Sacramento Speaker and Entrepreneur Network would not be the best place for you, okay? So Sacramento Speaker and Entrepreneur Network, or we're looking for things to help people grow their business, to start a business, to make more money in business, to get more systematized in business, to get better technology set up, as well as speak, get more speaking gigs booked, um, learn how to do a better presentation, uh, how to design your talk, those kinds of things. Okay, that's what we're looking at SAC Speaker for. Um, and then jumpstart your, your marketing and your business group. It's just any business owner who maybe has some kind of expertise that can support small business owners or marketing in some way. So it could be a health person that helps reduce stress. It could be 
uh, a mindset coach or even a love coach, a relationship coach, because as you know, and I talk on it too, is that if we don't nurture our love relationships and we focus just on the business, then we're way out of balance and things can go awry quickly. So um, I'm going to be doing a lot more Facebook Live interviews. Those are different than the podcast interviews, okay? Now they can be similar. I'm gonna be doing a lot of repurposing of all this information, and you should be doing that too, by the way, if you develop content. But um, let's see, hopefully this was very thorough and it made a lot of sense. And if you missed some of it, then please go back and listen again. And like I said, I will put all the links that I've mentioned in the comments here. You're welcome to comment here. I would appreciate the engagement, thank you. I'd also appreciate if you shared this video into the groups of people that you think might be necessary, that may be interested. So anybody in Placer County, have a Placer County group they're in, whether it's a chamber or some other networking organization or something like that, post it in there. They might be able to apply to speak. If you, um, you know, anybody that knows a lot of business owners, you know, I really want to get more interviews on the Jumpstart Your Marketing group in Facebook. So um, people that are active online or who want to be, you, and again, <clears throat> you don't have to be an expert speaker. You can be a newbie. You can be someone who's scared to death of speaking or video or whatever that's raising your hand. Please raise your hand. And what I tell my clients all the time is just say yes and then figure out how. So when you get booked to speak, you're probably not gonna get booked to speak tomorrow, okay? You're gonna have plenty of time to prepare, plenty of time to get your stuff together. So don't freak out about applying to speak. If you wait three months to apply to speak, you will not probably get a speaking slot. Okay, so you can't wait to apply. You apply now, say yes, and then you go figure out what you need to do to prepare, all right? And if you really need help, I'm here to help you. I have a whole speaker training program, I have a live event for it, I coach people how to get started speaking and all that, but don't let that stop you, because I see it all the time, okay? And Lisa says, Desire map planner talk for November, December, or share my venue opportunity. Would love to share your venue, Lisa. Let's talk. All right. Thank you very much for listening, and please pass this on. It's very important information. I want to book, you know, speakers that are really going to add a lot more value. Of course, I'm going to promote you, but I want you to add value. All right, on all these situations, and and um, so until next time, this is Katrina Sawa at JumpstartYourMarketing.com.